Over the past year with my Replicator 2, I've had several problems with extrusion and the PLA filament getting stuck. So in this video, I'm gonna talk through a, a dry block replacement. And this is a spring-loaded assembly that should yield better results. And this assembly was designed by a few Thingiverse users and you can print it. I'll put a link to the Thingiverse page below, but I've heard that just if you if you do print it, it kind of wears out. So I went ahead and ordered the kit from MakerBot. And just one word of caution, I ordered this kit on May 15th and it took about three months to receive. So it was a free order, I just had to pay for shipping. And this kit comes with a spring, a bearing, a bolt, a screw, the dry block base, the bearing arm, and the bearing cover. With the kit you get a nice glossy 16 step instruction sheet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to unload the filament. So we'll go ahead and run the unload script. Our extruder is heated up, so we'll go ahead and remove the filament. Okay, and after we remove the filament, we'll go ahead and turn the MakerBot off. The next thing we want to do is remove the motor wiring harness plug. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that. And now we'll use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to loosen these two bolts at the bottom of the extruder fan. Okay, now that we've loosened the screws, we want to leave them in and just pull the fan and heat sink out enough so that we can free the motor up. We'll just grab the motor and slide that out. Okay, now that we've pulled the motor out, we're gonna use the two millimeter hex wrench to loosen these two screws. We'll remove the dry block and set it aside. Now we're going to replace the existing drive block with the one provided in the kit as well as use the two millimeter screw provided in the kit. Put the screw in the top right hole of the motor. Now we're going to use the bearing arm that was provided in the kit and the bearing Make sure the post is facing upwards. We'll put the bearing cover into place and it should just fit in there nicely like a puzzle piece. You'll notice a little knob sticking up. And then we'll put the bearing arm. So the no other knob, this knob right here goes into the top of the spring. And we'll use the last piece of this kit the bolt and we want to depress the spring enough so that our holes line up the hole from the bearing arm lines up from the top lines up with the top left hole of the motor you want to tighten this bolt down pretty good but not too hard as to break any of the plastic pieces now our dry blocks in place you should be able to depress it and you'll notice how that bearing mashes up against this shaft You'll see the filament will go down there and that spring, that spring will apply pressure between the bearing and the motor shaft. Now we'll go ahead and put our motor back in place. We'll make sure that our bolts line up. And we'll use our two and a half millimeter hex wrench again. Now that our fan and our motor are reattached, we'll go ahead and reattach the cable. Now that we have our new dry block installed, we're going to go ahead and load the filament and give it a test print. Okay, we're ready to insert our filament. And now what's cool about our new assembly, we have this tab that we can push down and we don't have to force the PLA through there like we used to. Now you can see we're extruding. So let's go ahead and give this a test print. And normally where I've seen a large percentage of 
my 3D prints fail is uh, just getting the print started. Once the build plate comes up, and so what we're going to see is if uh, this initial print will start off successfully. And it looks good. I can normally tell when this trail of PLA gets extruded down. I don't know if you can tell, but it's printing a motor mount for my mini quad copter. And it appears to be extruding nicely. We're about 50% done with the print. We're at about 90% and this new drive block assembly is working really well. And there it is, there's our motor mount and our first print with the new drive block replacement as ordered by MakerBot. Once again, it took forever to get, but pretty easy install and I don't want to declare victory yet. It did a good job on the first print, so I hope that was useful. Feel free to post any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.